The Season 7 flight for MCC has just dropped for everyone to enjoy. In this video, we'll go over everything that's in the flight and some brand new customization like new Elite armor sets and some awesome Halo 3 and also Halo 4 customization. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So I knew that this was coming around rather soon. I just didn't think it was going to happen today, but it actually did happen today. We got the flight for season seven of the MCC. So in this video, we're gonna cover everything this flight has to offer. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you wanna see some more content like this. If you wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well make sure you tap subscribe Let's get right into the content here. So here we are in the flight build of the MCC. The main things you will notice are definitely going to be what you can play for the social side of things. You have Halo 4, Halo 3, and CE. And for Halo 3, they brought in the maps Waterfall and Edge. They're both getting some performance increases with these maps as well. Hopefully Edge will be up to shape for when it comes to Season 7 to be released. But Edge looks to be very likely to come in with Season 7. Now I did scroll through all these and there is no custom game browser. So the custom game browser is not going to be in with this flight. I mean, they already did a test with it with the public flighting that happened a couple weeks ago. So they're still just working on that. Uh, but the one thing, there is no Season 7 available. They're still showing Season 6 as it was for the last flight. But for the customization, we have some interesting choices here. In Halo 3 especially, we got a lot of great customization for the Elites. Yes, that is my Elite right now that I have set up in this game. You have crazy new armor sets coming from Halo Online for your Elites as well. Uh, just to kind of showcase all the different kind of uh, armor sets here. here. You can see all the different kinds of shoulders you can choose from right here. Some of them are pretty crazy looking, but of course I'm sure you probably want to check out the helmets right here. This is where you'll really start noticing the difference right here, like the keyboard right here. That's a pretty cool looking helmet. The Accord, the General, the Artisan right here, the Ozana? Ozan? Is that's how you pronounce it? The Seneschal, if that's how you pronounce it? I don't know. Looks like a weird ass Rano or anything. And you also have the Scion as well. I'm going with the general because it's big, bulky, and looks funky, just like elites. You also have new body pieces as well to go along with these new armor sets. On top of that, they all have they all have entirely new armor sets for shoulders, wrists, legs, headpiece, chest, everything in between. You got it covered right now for new armor sets for the elites, which is awesome. I really like this one. This is just super cool. And all the LED kind of lighting on the armor set just looks freaking awesome. Now there really isn't much in the way of new weapon skins at all through this whole section for Halo 3. I looked through them all, but the cool new thing is you can customize your energy sword now, which is super freaking cool. And they have a ton of different options as well. So we'll kind of go through this. You have Kadon's Guard, which is kind of a gold looking color. The Evocate's Edge, if that's how you pronounce it. Kind of a clear white kind of look to it. The Dark Star has a nice purple look. The Necroplasm is probably the one I'm going to run with because green's my favorite color. This looks so freaking cool. The Light of Jewelry, as I pronounce it, is uh, kind of like a yellow color. But this one's pretty awesome as well. The Blood Blade, which is an awesome name by itself right there. That's Metal AF. And it has just like these really cool like electric lines going through that are just bright red. Looks so cool. And the Lance of Suban as well, which is kind of like a pinkish kind of color on top of that. Now, I'm sure many of you guys remember the Champions bundle that was placed into Halo 4 later on in its lifespan as a DLC. And it's currently not in the MCC right now, but thankfully now it has been added into the MCC flight, which looks so awesome right here. I got the Prefect armor set up just ready to go right here. And then a really cool thing that they added in, our armor effects are now going to be in Halo 4 as well. You got the birthday party, heart attack, pestilence. We also have the inclement weather. And we also have legendary and eternal straight out of Halo Reach now in Halo 4. For other content that's in the flight, we have campaigns. We have the CE anniversary campaign, the entirety of the campaign, which is pretty awesome. For creative, you have Forge and Theater you can play around with. And that's about all the content right now with the flight of the MCC. We should have another update coming out later on Friday. We'll have a video up on Saturday morning giving you all the details. Also keep in mind some of the issues that they're looking to fix or various bug fixes, some additional season seven content, which I haven't got a chance to see all of it yet, but we had a good chunk of it for the elites and Halo 4. 
They had improvements to Edge, like you mentioned earlier. Edge should be coming in with Season 7. And also improvements to the visuals for Halo CE to better mirror Legacy. There are some considerable visual differences between the MCC uh, CE Anniversary version compared to the Legacy version because they use the Gearbox port, which is kind of funky on the visuals. But hopefully things will be looking a lot better for you CE fans when it comes to playing the campaign. That's everything about the content that's within Season 7 Flight going on right now, guys. So get on, jump in, play this, get your downloads going, and have a good time. If you guys have been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.